Welcome back. It's Weather Wednesday, a time when Kevin and I get to talk about the weather together a little more in depth and talk about how it can really impact our lives here in Kern County. Yeah, and today we're talking about some of the tools we use to forecast the weather for you. That's right. There's a brand new tool for us today. A next generation weather satellite is now in orbit as a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket lifted off from NASA's Kennedy Space Center just before 530 yesterday. Three, two, one. Go, go, you. All right, leave it to SpaceX. The rocket roared into space carrying a powerful Goes You weather satellite. It's the fourth and final satellite in the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Goes R series. Goes stands for Geostationary Operational Environmental Satellite. That's right. This goes you satellite will be deployed more than 22,000 miles above Earth. Once in orbit, it will now be known as GOES-19, beginning its mission to watch over a large portion of the Western Hemisphere, providing <coughs> continuous imagery and data for the United States. The goes R series provides critical atmospheric, hydrologic, oceanic, climatic, solar, and space data, significantly improving detection and observation for environmental phenomena that directly directly affect public safety, protection of property, and our nation's economic health and prosperity. All right, let's bring this back to Earth for you mm -hmm. and show you kind of the tools we use. So here's a look at a Pacific satellite. We talked about this earlier and you know the H stands for high pressure, the low for low pressure. And as forecasters, we actually put these on the satellite. It doesn't mm -hmm. come pre-made for us. We have to look at the data and uh, basically tell you what's going to be happening. So during the day or the morning when I get at 3.30, I can change the type of satellites that we look at. So here is a little image. So this is a menu that I can choose from or Lena when she's filling in. Uh, and you can see where it says uh, the type IR stands for infrared. We also have visible satellites, which is only able to be looked at when it's visible, which mm -hmm. means in daylight. So you can see where it says product. And there you go. It says goes east northern hemisphere IR two kilometer 15 minutes. It means it's updated every 15 minutes. And then you look down below below transparency and you can see the color table and that is coming from the infrared GOES-16 satellite. So this is uh, just a menu that we're able to use and we can pick from different satellites and when we talk about this newest satellite that was launched soon, that satellite will be in the list of satellites that we can choose from for different imagery uh, to tell the weather. So kind of a fun fact if you never really understood where we choose these satellites. That's right and so the satellites look down and help us with cloud cover. Yep. It's the radar our domes on the ground that help us with the green on the radar and our rain and yeah. other different phenomena that we have falling out of the sky. Yeah, so there you get a little lesson on satellite and radar. We're nerds and we love it. <laughs>